Anthony Joshua is your new unified heavyweight champion of the world. We get into the bout, Andy Ruiz Jr., and what's next for both those fighters. Let's go. What's going on, y'all? This is your boy, JG. Welcome back. Exaggeration and experience. We say doing what we do. Let's get right into it right this second. Anthony Joshua defeats Andy Ruiz Jr. quite easily, I might add, by boxing beautifully to a very clear to see unanimous decision. I want to get into some of the observations I had into the fight. First off, I love the walkout by Anthony Joshua. He really came out with a little fake swag walk. You know, he had the little baby fro from Roots. He had all that. He came out there, and I love the fact that it wasn't hella cats walking out with him. It was him making the walk down the tunnel, making the journey, and making his way to the ring. Ruiz Jr., a little bit of the same. He's always a calm, cool, collected guy. Made his way out to the ring. One of the things that was telling to me when they both entered the ring after the national anthems, once Ru Ruiz removed his shirt, you could really see he was carrying that additional weight. There had been some conversation back and forth, was it? You know, was it real weight? Was he, you know, loading his shirt? What was going on with the sombrero? No, no, no. That man really came in at 183 pounds. Or 183, 283. Um, 15, 16 pounds heavier than the previous bout. The other thing that was very obvious is you could tell that AJ had slimmed way down. And uh, I think it worked to his advantage as well as that baby throw. It acted as a helmet to deflect some of the temple shots. Just a nice little baby throw helmet to deflect the shot. So, I actually went through and I scored every single round and I took some notes, but as the fight progressed, I just kind of stopped because it became very obvious what was going to happen and what was going to continue to happen in that fight is that, is that AJ had a plan and he executed it at an extremely high level, stiff jab, varying angles, cross-stepping, footwork, giving different looks, and he just really did his thing. I mean, he really did his thing. Now, Ruiz Jr., uh... I did a video and I predicted that Ruiz Jr. will win and win by stoppage. And in that video, I said, AJ has the tools to win. Bigger, stronger, longer, good boxing pedigree, Olympian. I question AJ's mental. What I got out of this fight is I don't have to ask that question for this opponent anymore. Because he took tough shots, shots I don't think he should have been taking, but he took them. Uh, that's credit to Ruiz. But instead of going to the <laughs> and covering up, he reset his feet. He stuck out his range finder, and he did what he was supposed to do, reestablish range, and then land damage of his own. That's exactly what you're supposed to do in a situation where you get touched or tagged. So that's a big deal as far as clearing a mental hurdle for AJ. That was significant in nature, in my opinion. Ruiz, he just didn't do a good enough job, you know, trying to find his way in. Um, he chased for too long. He could have done a better job cutting off the ring if he was going to continue to pursue. Or you just sat in the middle and you... you essentially demand that your opponent close the, the distance for you he didn't do any of those things he was still able to get some shots off i i gave him two of the 12 rounds i mean that's it um i'm not sure i, I didn't stick around to uh hear the scorecard i'm interested to see what they did but i gave him two of the 12 so that's obvious that i had aj winning um he exercised some demons in that bout ruiz i hate to see this loss for him because they were already saying, you know, the kind of commentary where they, you know, this is a flash in a pan and, you know, was this a one hit wonder? The guy only has one loss to Joseph Parker, which is debatable. And now he just lost to AJ. So he's been a successful fighter at the heavyweight division for a long time. Um, it's a situation if you and I are the same, we are, me and you are both equals, but you have better physical attributes, your size, your length, your athleticism. You should win that about nine out of ten times. I might have a little more speed than you combination punching, but AJ is a bigger, stronger, longer guy. And if all things are equal and he has a physical attributes advantage, he's going to get that W. Um, so I'm going to close the book for this video on AJ as a congratulations. You did your thing. I had you losing and you went out there and you boxed beautifully. You look good. You took some tough shots that I don't think you should be taking, which I'll be getting into in a little bit. Um, but you did what you were supposed to do in that bout. For Andy Ruiz Jr., <clears throat> I hate the word disappointed, but I think I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, they they blew you up in the zone a little bit. They talked about uh, Robles. He wanted you in camp in June, July, and you didn't decide to show up until September. It's 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 December 7th, G. September. This is this is this is where champions are are, are made. These cats in the gym. You look at the the greatest champions in the world. The one that comes to my mind is a cat like Floyd Mayweather. He'll go win a belt. 
unified division, beat somebody the hell up, and then be running two days later down the street. That's hunger. That's hunger. And we're not talking about the hunger where you want snacks. We're not talking about that hunger. We know you got that hunger. We, we're talking about the hunger for success and winning. But I wanted to see a little bit more. I think Andy Jr. is still a good fighter, a guy that can still operate in the top six heavyweights um, in the in the division. But tonight definitely was not his night. And I don't think he had proper preparation. He didn't look like the fighter that was at the media workouts. It just was a different look. So I'm going to put some of that on him. But I'm also going to credit the game plan of Anthony Joshua because he executed at an extremely high level. So shout out to them. Congratulations to him. Congratulations to UK. Shout out to Andy Ruiz Jr. He's still going to get that back. He's going to get paid hand over fist. He's going to go to 310 uh, and just say, fuck it. Fuck boxing. He got mills now. They doing his thing. With all of that being said, here's my number one takeaway from the bout. From the bout. <clears throat> and this should not come as a surprise to anybody that watches this video. Deontay Wilder is the best heavyweight in the world. He is. He is. If you watch this fight, go back and watch it again. Look at some of the right hands that AJ landed on Ruiz. Turned his head right around. Devastating shots. Ruiz was good. You think he can take that shot from Wilder? Go back and watch this fight. Look at some of the hooks, some of the right hands that Ruiz was able to land on. AJ turned his head around. Got the sweat flying off. A la Ruiz or a la Ortiz, excuse me. You think he can take that shot from Deontay Wilder? Another thing, AJ, what is he, 6'3", 6'4"? Down to water, six, 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 seven with crazy wingspan. There is no sitting on the outside against a guy that's bigger and longer than you. And then you have to survive the right hand. You have to not get touched clean for an entire 12 rounds. I want to see this fight. I want to see AJ. I want to see Deontay Wilder. I need this. They got the Tyson Fury fight coming up. This, that, and the other. Quite honestly, shit, I'll have Tyson Fury beating AJ. Because of his size, and he's 6'9", and can box and move. That's a compelling matchup. I think this card will actually turn out pretty good. Uh, DAZN finally didn't fuck it up. Shout out to Saudi Arabia. Um, Dillian White, I thought, looked horrible. Uh, the Michael hunter Pavekin fight, that was dope. I enjoyed that fight. Um, they went to a draw, and I, I scored it just the same, but enjoyable. My key takeaways as we go. We're almost 10 minutes in. I don't want to take too much of your time. Here's, here are my key, key, my, uh, key takeaways. Andy Ruiz Jr. got satisfied. Sorry, that, that's how I feel. AJ sung a redemption song. He did exactly what he was supposed to do, and he did it well. Shout out to him. None of these guys can beat Deontay Wilder. That's it. This is your boy, JG. If you haven't done it already, subscribe to the channel. Like. Damn, I fucked that up. Don't take this out, though, Mark. Like, subscribe, bell icon for notification. We stay on it. And we always honest. And we always honest. Check out the, my video previous to the preview. I gave uh, my thoughts on why I felt like Ruiz would win. He definitely let me down. Shout out to AJ. He did his thing. Shout out to the little bootleg swag you walked out to. I seen you. It's your little dirty fro. <laughs> you was doing your thing. But this is your boy, JJ. Exaggeration and experience. We keep the videos coming. And like I said before, like, subscribe, bell, I icon for notification. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section on the bout. If you watch this video, and you'll put a comment on there, I'm going to find you. I'm going to give you one of them AJ right hands. And if you really disrespect, I'm going to give you a wilder right hand. But we out. This is your boy.